Hi Muñecas, today's tutorial is on this easy, quick, everyday glam that is my go-to for any day that I want to look nice and presentable, but I don't have more than 10 minutes. I always like to start off with a hydrating primer. This one is from e.l.f. and I apply that all over the face. Next, I have really been enjoying this No More Baggage by Dr. Brandt. I know you can't see it there, but it's, it has like a little bit of tint to it. You apply it underneath your eyes. It's supposed to reduce the appearance of darkness, but what I like the most is that it really helps with the creasing of the concealer. And then I go over that using my Erase Paste Concealer from Benefit. And blend that with the fingers to be extra fast. <laughs> If you've been watching my videos for some time now, you know that I don't like heavy duty foundations, especially for the everyday. So I really enjoy this um, Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is a tinted hydrating gel and a little bit goes a super long way if you're not looking for too much coverage. What I look for in this is just to even out my complexion and I enjoy the fact that I can apply it using my fingers and it saves me a lot of time, especially in the morning when I'm getting ready for work. So I just apply that all over the face and a little bit down my neck. And just a quick tip, if you want to get ready extra fast, make sure that you have a makeup bag with all your must-haves. It's really gonna save you a lot of time in the morning. Anyhow, I am going to proceed applying it my concealer. I switch it up. Sometimes I use the Shape Tape Concealer or the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. I like them both and those are my go-tos right now. And I like to begin at just blending that with my fingers. You guys already know that you get the most coverage with, with your fingers. Jesus, I cannot speak. But then I like to go around it using a, a beauty sponge to make sure that it's blended nicely into the tinted moisturizer this time. And then using the same beauty sponge, I like to apply the translucent setting powder. This one is Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and I do apply a lot. It depends. I go through stages. Right now, it's not really drying me too much, so I apply it with that, and I also apply it a little bit um, to set the concealer on top of my eyes and a little coffee break. And then lately, I have really been enjoying doing my brows in the morning using a pencil. I think it saves me time. I don't have to go in with a powder or the gel and a separate brush. I have been really liking the brow definer from Benefit, but it's gone. I just ordered a new one. So I've been using this brow drama from Maybelline, which is okay. It's not bad at all. It's just the color that is a little bit too red for me, but I'm making it work. After I go over it, that I do go in with a tinted brow gel from NYX in brown just to make them a little bit darker so they don't look so red, but they're still a little red. What do you guys think? Let me know. And on those mornings that I want to look put together and look like I actually tried, I have really been reaching for the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. And those two pukey yellow shades are perfect in the transition. So I'm just applying that on my upper crease using an E40 brush. Um, as you can see in a windshield swiper motion and not being too, too curveful. And then uh, with the same brush, I'm uh, taking the mix of the two orangey shadows and applying that on the outer V and then blending it into the crease. Again, this look is super easy. It really takes me less than 10 minutes. Um, you don't have to be too careful with the shadow. You just want to blow it out, like I'm gonna blow it out and make it give it a little bit more dimension to your eyes. And using the same two orange shadows with a smaller blending brush, I'm going to run that into the lower lash line. And try not to poke your eyes like I usually do pretty much every time. I don't know why that always happens. And I took some of this uh, yellow banana powder from Too Faced. And with that, I removed any excess of powder from underneath the eyes. And also used it to highlight the center of the face a little bit more. And then of course, this is super important if you're not going to wear any false lashes, make sure that you take your time to curl your lashes. Give them a good curl like two to three times until they are nice and up. Now I'm going to tight line using a black liner. I really only do this if I have extra time. If I don't, I just skip it. Um, and then for the water line on the bottom, I just do half of it because I want to keep my eyes wide and open. I don't want to close them too much. And if you apply from beginning to end, it's definitely going to close out your eyes a little bit. And then here I'm just applying some mascara. This one is by Rimmel, I believe. Apply at least two to three coats to your top and bottom lashes. And if it goes into your eyeshadow like it did for me here, make sure that 
and you wait for them to dry before you attempt to remove it. And I've been using this Grande Lip product. It helps plump up your lips. I've been using that right before the lipstick. And then I took the lightest shade from the palette and I applied that into the inner corners of the eyes for a little bit of brightness. And then to bronze up my face, I'm using a Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, which I cannot believe is the first time that I purchased this product. I have been loving it so much. It is so soft and natural and easy to use. So I've been using that almost every day lately. And then with this blush from Ofra, which I don't know the name, it's like an orangey one, using the same brush, I just apply that to the cheeks of, what? The apples of the cheeks. <laughs> I need sleep. I don't know what I'm saying. And then I'm using my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in that glow. And with that, I'm just hitting the high points of my face, the cheeks, bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow. You guys know the drill. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using this one by NYX. It's one of their slip tees in the color Beyond Basic. I really have been enjoying the formula. Um, if I wear it on top of that lip gloss that I applied earlier, it stays nice and comfortable and it lasts me a very long time. And I'm going around that using a NYX lip pencil in the color medium. And then I'm also going to set that using their dewy setting spray. And with that, we're going to complete the look. I really hope that you guys enjoy it. It's super simple to do if you're afraid or just not used to wearing false lashes. This is definitely a must for you. Thank you for watching and I see you guys next time. Besos. Bye-bye.